An intervening act is one that occurs between the initial act and the final result and changes the course of events. A superseding cause is an intervening act that legally overrides the initial actor's conduct, thereby relieving the initial actor of liability. In Corbett v. Wiseband, we explore whether the question of superseding cause is for the court or for the jury. Lucille Corbett sought treatment for a knee infection from Dr. I. David Wiseband in December 1978. At the time, Corbett had suffered from knee trouble for decades and had previously had surgery on her left knee. Corbett remained under Wiseband's care through August 1981. During that time, Wiseband performed a knee fusion on Corbett's left knee. In September 1981, Corbett sought further treatment from Dr. Green. After concluding that Wiseband's fusion wasn't successful, Green performed a total knee replacement on Corbett's left knee. In 1983, Green amputated Corbett's left leg above the knee due to an ongoing infection. Corbett sued Wiseband and others for medical malpractice. Corbett alleged that Wiseband's negligent treatment of Corbett's knee prolonged or aggravated an infection and eventually led to the amputation of her left leg. At trial, Wiseband elicited testimony establishing that Green's decision to perform a full knee replacement was negligent because he'd failed to take a full medical history, which would have revealed that Corbett wasn't a suitable candidate for the surgery. Several doctors, Wiseband included, opined that Green's decision to perform a full knee replacement on a patient with Corbett's conditions bordered on insanity. Green testified that he wasn't aware of Corbett's prior medical history. The trial court found that, as a matter of law, Wiseband wasn't responsible for any damages that Corbett sustained after coming under Green's care because Green's conduct was highly extraordinary and therefore constituted a superseding cause. Accordingly, the trial court refused to submit that aspect of Corbett's damages claim to the jury. The trial court's ruling effectively precluded the jury from awarding damages for injuries sustained after Corbett commenced treatment with Green including the amputation of her leg. The jury found for Corbett. Dissatisfied with various trial court rulings, however, Corbett appealed to the Pennsylvania Superior Court. Among other things, Corbett argued that the trial court should have submitted the superseding cause question to the jury.